What's up guys, Ryan with Jedi Patrol, back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Batman. Not, not this one. Let me hit, let me hit a button. We're not going to talk about this Batman, we're going to talk about a different Batman. That's right guys, hope you guys are doing well. It is, uh, it's a nice beautiful day. The sun is out. It's not raining. And we're here to talk about another Hot Toys release. Well, announcement, sorry, not, not release, announcement. Inart had a release that I can't quite talk about just yet. And then, I mean, you already know. The review's coming, guys. It, the review, it's coming. Um, so don't, 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 you know, don't go crazy in the comment section. It is coming. Anyways, Hot Toys announced another Batman. And one, uh, when I first saw it, it had me going, hmm, like, that's strange like what what the hell i, I it's very strange um so my first reaction was why <laughs> that was my first reaction uh but we're gonna talk about the armored batman they're calling it a 2.0 but it's really like a 4.0 like we had mms 349 uh and then we had a battle damage one and then we had a black chrome version of it if i remember correctly and now we've got this this is like 4.0 and they made some improvement. What? They made some changes. I guess to be determined if they're improvements or not. Made some changes. Um, and I've got photos. Uh, I got the blogger photos they got for the promotional stuff. And then I also have um, shots from it on display at Secret Base. And uh, from my friends over Pop Collectible. So if you want to pre-order this, link down there. And if you don't want to pre-order it, um, okay. It's all good. Uh, the Batman video is still coming, regardless. Um, but the armored... Batman 2.0. So my, again, my first thoughts on this thing were like, what, what the, why is this? Now on the secondary market, the previous version, it's a good figure. If you enjoyed the film, BVS, right? That great film, I enjoyed that one. For the most part, Doomsday was kind of the weakest part of the whole film. That was just, they ruined Doomsday in my opinion. Um, he should have been way, way more badass than he was. Um, I digress, anyways. If you like the if you like the film, the figure itself was more or less a statue. Like the range of motion on that piece was not all that great. However, on the shelf it looked good. And this reminded me of another figure. And my again, my, one of my first thoughts was why another figure. And they said like this is going to be diecast. This is going to be a thing. And if you guys remember recently and within the last six months, I guess Hot Toys gave us another. 2.0 it with diecast parts and i'm talking about you iron man mark one diecast version and i gotta be honest with you guys like i'm glad i own that figure but it's not like it's it's not that awesome like when i walk by i much more pay attention to other figures other iron man figures in my collection um but that figure itself is not fantastic it you can't pose it very well it doesn't it, like the addition of diecast parts did not make that figure better it didn't um like at least this one they've added some different face sculpts and whatever else on, on the iron man uh it it didn't it didn't improve the figure it didn't so all 2.0s are not fantastic they're not uh hot toys clearly didn't really give too much of a crap on the iron man thing uh again i'm glad i have it because i didn't have the previous version but after owning it a while, I'm like, eh, eh. does diecast really make everything better? And the answer is no. But here we have a, bat a Batman uh, with a lightsaber. So that's pretty cool. Batman has a lightsaber and uh, we're going to take a look at it. It's USB powered lightsaber. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but we'll just, let's look at the blogger photos, the promo photos, look at everything it comes with. We'll look at the shots from Secret Base. Let me know your thoughts on this. Um, like, I think it looks pretty. My first impressions are, I, I, like, I, I think it looks cool. I'll end up getting it because... I like the film, and Inart's going to do a Christopher Reeve, not Christopher Reeve, a BVS Superman, they're doing Christopher Reeve too, a BVS Superman that I think will be pretty freaking amazing, and it'll be good to have this figure to go along with that, because I don't think Inart's going to do this particular Batman. I, 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 I don't, I could be wrong. I don't have any inside knowledge just saying that, but let's, let's look at this. Armor Batman 2.0, deluxe version exclusive, okay? So... Separate rolling eyeballs on the deluxe, the battle damaged armor. So you get the battle damaged armor on the deluxe. You get the diorama 
space on the deluxe and you get the lightsaber that's USB powered with the deluxe. Okay, there's that. Outside of that, we get some other things. We've got light up eyes uh, for the, which makes total sense. Like that, that's a thing. And then a uh, brand new redesigned, highly detailed muscular body. We'll see about that. We got some different weapons, this and that one. Anyway, get some hands, whatever. All right, so here's the comparison. We'll, we'll, we'll zoom this. Let's zoom this bad boy in. The comparison between the previous generation and this one. And this one is more bulky and that will make it worse to pose. <laughs> It will just make it, it will make it not as good, not as maneuverable. It, it just, it just is what it is. Like the body's bigger and, and I guarantee you the way they manage this is that the fat suit, the body suit to put on the, the skeletal frame of this figure is how they managed to do this. And then they upscaled the armor of touch to make it fit the new fat suit, right? Um, there's no way they went in and redesigned the entire body to make this more maneuverable. It just, it, they didn't do that. All right, so here it is. The, the two of them side by side. If you have the previous version, MMS 349, I see no reason to get this one. Like, I just don't see enough of a value proposition to upgrade to the new one. I, I don't see it. If you don't own it and you've been wanting it, and on the secondary market, it's been kind of up and down and going crazy in prices, then this makes sense. But I digress. Uh, at these two side by side, again, it's not enough of, that's not enough of a display difference for me to upgrade it's just, that's my opinion of this i mean there's some paint applications and, and i have quite let me ask can I, can I ask you guys a question can we do this for a second did hot toys just recently get the information the accurate information paint uh samples screenshots all this kind of stuff of the suit from warner brothers did they just now in 2024 get and figure out that the damn belt was brass or gold or bronze or whatever the hell that is versus the previous version are they just now figuring that out like this 2.0 thing drives me nuts because it's like yeah we had all the information we could have done a better job but we just said you know screw it, we, it this was good enough this is typical hot toys fashion by the way it's just it's just it's just what they do like, did they not know? I'm thinking of like the uh, the reissue or the the new, uh, the DX19 replacement, like the new, new one. It's like, we have new molds and new this and new, we got new. I'm like, you had all the information to begin with. You just chose not to use it. So when they released the Batman armored version 3.0, which is really going to be a 5.0, two years from now, it's going to be more accurate. Bullshit. Hot Toys is trolling the hell out of us. Just saying, is what it is. I'm not wrong about that, by the way. All right, well, let's, let's continue on. We've got improved paint application and weathering effects. Now, I'm with you on that. They could improve skills. Got it. Improve. They could get better skills. The skills to do better weathering, I understand. A belt being a different freaking color completely. And the gauntlets uh, being different color completely, that's not a skill issue. That's a, I, we fucked up the first time issue. That's what that is. So there's that. Um, now, here's the die cast armor parts. You get some shin, the chest plate, uh, the head, and the, or the cowl, and then the uh, shoulder armor. Again, that's not enough to warrant upgrading. It's just not. Does it make the figure better? No. It, it, do, it just doesn't. It doesn't make the figure better. Um, it makes, I mean, it's cool but it doesn't make the figure better. Because why are the other parts not die cast? Well, let me tell you why. Because it would be a complete pain in the ass to pose, which it already is. The brick. And then if you get the deluxe, you get this diorama base, which no doubt will be a complete pain in the ass to pose on. They should include the regular base. They should include the regular base. This, this diorama base is not even interesting. Like I, I don't want this base. I straight up don't want this diorama base. Don't want it. Don't care enough about it. Don't want it. The only reason to get the deluxe would be to get the kryptonite lightsaber, uh, and you get the uh, what's the other parts? The uh, the battle damage uh, battle damage parts. That would be the only reason to do that. Um, the battle damage cape. That the the freaking diorama base is is a huge fail in my opinion because you don't get the other base. 
and you're forced to use this down on base. So, and and I just that, that's a fail. Anyways, he's got a kryptonite lightsaber. Uh, the, the, I mean, there's no denying he looked cool. Like this is a good looking figure. It was a good looking figure when they released the first one. That's a good looking figure. Like, no, no doubt about it. Uh, this one looks cool. I mean, look at the range of motion here. There's a slightly pat, maybe right at 90 degree bend on that right elbow. I mean, this figure's not, I'm not seeing any like notable range of motion anywhere on this thing. I mean, look at all the photos. It's not doing much of nothing. Oh, now the Affleck uh, sculpt inside the uh, the battle damage helmet. That's pretty cool. I dig that. Uh, the battle damage chest plate. I, I just, yeah. Tell me this does not look like freaking Iron Man from wait, classic Iron Man from the comics, like classic, classic Iron Man from the comics. Liger, what are you talking about? Cats entered the entered the video. Um, it, it, that's a that's a straight up old Iron Man pose. And you guys might be thinking, oh, I'm just being way hard on this because it's DC. No, I just think this is a strange announcement from Hot Toys. This is strange, and I just don't. It's just, it's just, it's just I call it like I see it, man. It's just strange. I'll get it, um, because I I don't have the previous version, so I'll get this one, and that's cool. That's fine. And the, the chrome one was, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure they did like a black chrome version of this thing. I seem to be remembering that, but I could be completely wrong. Um, the Affleck deal, that's cool. The diorama base looks stupid as hell. Like the force perspective and the rubble and all that. It's just, that, that, that looks terrible. But hey, don't let me, don't let me ruin your day. Let's look at the photos from Secret Base. It looks awesome on display at Secret Base. So thanks again to Pop Collectibles for getting these. Uh, they, it does look cool. There's the uh, the extra chest armor. They've got the battle damage parts on it on display. So for those wondering, that's the battle damage parts. And then there's the clean parts. They look cool. I hope it's not going to be too big of a pain in the butt to change. Mouth plates. I dig that. I don't believe those were on the previous version. So that's a nice welcome addition. I kind of like that. Um, you get some die cast uh, shin guards. There's a photo of the foot. I guess it's pretty cool. It looks good. The scratches are deep in that metal. I that looks good. Like all, all these look good. I mean, are you getting this? What are you? Am I crazy here? I guess it looks good. Kryptonite spear looks cool. Spear. I said spear for the first time. I meant lightsaber. And um, yeah, all those little grenades and things. It's a cool piece. Don't get me wrong. I will get it. I will review it. And uh, then when we get a proper Superman, like a proper, like, yeah. And don't get me wrong. Inart might not release that Superman until 2094. I don't even freaking know. But um, whenever they do, it'll look good. <laughs> I don't know. Look, that's what I'm talking about. The belt. This is a, I, yeah, yeah, whatever. Battle damage parts. It looks good. But I mean, look at even Hot Toys, who does great poses generally, couldn't pose this thing worth a damn. Look at this. Like, that's the best they came up with. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, that's that's. Anyways, that's my thoughts on this. I have other thoughts, but you don't really care to hear them. <laughs> hey, let me. Am I am I going? Am I wrong by this 2.0 thing? Am I wrong about that? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, video review. Review on the uh, patents in Batman from NR is coming. It is over one hour long for the unboxing review of the all-in set. The patents in Batman, the rooted hair, the rooted hair Bruce Wayne, and the bat signal. Completely an hour long. There will be a separate video comparing Hot Toys to NR to have a proper comparison because the video is already an hour long. There's no reason to do that. So it is coming. Stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you want to support the channel on Patreon, that would be amazing. This Friday night, we're having a bourbon and posing meetup on our Discord. We're going to sip a little bourbon, chat a little bit, pose some figures. It'll be a lot of fun. Check us out on Patreon. As always, click what you like. See you next time. <laughs>